Testing, testing, one, two. This is Master B here from the Trading Lounge doing a breakdown of uh, my opinion on keeping uh, trading the futures very simple. Um, I'm going to be just kind of giving my tra uh, day trading rules on what I do for the morning setup using the uh, uh, Thinkorswim platform. Uh, which I find is a very powerful platform and awesome tools to help you be on the right side of the trade for the morning opening. I'm a fan of trading uh, 15 minutes after the morning, uh, the morning opening at 9.30 Eastern Standard Time. So I like to look for uh, trades after 9.30. So around 9.45, I let the market uh, make its noise just until it decides which side to be on. So these are my steps that I'm going to uh, put on the recording. And uh, hopefully it will bless someone else listening to or watching uh, this video. Okay, the first thing that I do is I, I, I like to go to my uh, forexfactory.com, which gives uh, news announcements uh, throughout the week and pretty much I'm looking for uh, any high impact news announcements that might affect my trading uh, between 10 and 12 o'clock so I'm just going to use today as an example which is June 22nd uh, 23 we had a uh, major impact news announcement coming from the Fed chair um, which will definitely affect uh, the markets so I like to wait till after the news announcement to start looking for an opportunity. So as I said before, I'm, I'm giving my uh, day trading rules that I go by every single day. I do the same thing over and over. I go to forexfactory.com. I check my news announcements during the time that I'm about to trade, which is uh, 10 to 12. And we had a red house. So I checked the red house. Then I start on my chart. I go to my hourly chart and on Thinkorswim, they have, um, if you go to the uh, settings on Thinkorswim and I trade the futures market, go into the futures market and over here on the access, it says highlighted extended hours trading session. And that pretty much uh, shades out like the pre-market area prior to 9.30. So I select that, which gives me this shading area. So this shading area prior to going into the 9.30 session, I'm establishing like where is the high and the low off of the hourly chart. So uh, center ball gives you your two, two, uh, two menu. I get my horizontal line and I just kind of mark the pre-market low and the pre-market high of that shaded area so it gives me my trading range so from the hourly chart then I break down to the 15 minute chart I like the 15 minute chart and um, I, I I tend to I'm trying to box price in so that during the time of the US open I pretty much can, uh, you know, just establish the range and see which way she's going to break out for the morning opening at 930. So on the ES, which is the S&P 500, when the 930 bell rang, the market did its thing, and then it broke out of this range. Let me highlight this area here. So prior to the morning opening, the, the price action started going into a little range right there so you can box that area in because you're going to you're going to use that as a reference point for the morning so i just extend it across and it gives me that box okay so this is my currently prior to the market opening this is my demand area okay then i drop down to the five minute chart because I want to start seeing patterns, uh, what what is going on at this box. 
So we got a impulse out of the trading range, right, from the 15 minute, an impulse out, it comes back and it starts to respect that box. And what I mean by respect is, okay, this is the floor. It impulse away from the floor and then it does a market correction and gives me a higher floor. So that's telling me that the market, just from these two lines, the market is stepping up. So I'm entertaining buys. I like to trade in the direction of how the market is currently moving at the opening. So at the opening, we got an impulse out of the range, pulls back, does a correction, gives me a support or demand area, and she starts to rise again. At this point, I'm looking for an entry when there is a break out of that box. And I'm going to use the stop loss to manage that trade right underneath where that second floor or as you were where that first floor was established. Okay. So as the market moves up, comes back and retests again, we get another higher floor, which I would consider that my second floor. Now my stop loss is still safe and I would take her up until I hit my daily target. Okay. This is the symbol that we always want to see. We want to see an impulse breaking a resistance or ceiling. We want to see a retest, a pullback or correction. Okay. And then we want to see the continuation on that point of continuation. That is where we want to enter the tree and shoot for at least the previous swing high. That is just a simple breakdown of what happened today on the S&P 500. We had an impulse away from the floor. We had a retest. That is the beginning of, that's the uh, second leg of my uh, symbol. And then I'm looking for the continuation to follow through to the upside. This is Master B. Market recap of what happened today. Peace and blessings. And may this video prosper anyone who's watching it. I'm out.